Where, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Elf school. Now, Princess Holly, what's the name of this flower? That's easy, Nanny. It's a daisy. Yes, yes. An elf might call it a daisy, but a fairy princess would call it a Bellis per Ennius. <sighs> Bellis per Ennius. Correct. Now, what is this bluebell called? A uh, bluebell? Oh, no, no, no. A fairy princess would call it a hyacinthoids non scripta. <sighs> Oh, Nanny, nature class is so boring. Why do I have to learn the proper names of all these flowers? That is the sort of thing a fairy princess needs to know. Well, maybe I don't want to be a fairy princess. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Where are you going? I'm off to elf school. Oh, what do you do at elf school? We learn how to make toys. That sounds fun. It is. Elves love making toys. And I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make toys. Nanny, can I go to elf school too? But you're not an elf. You're a royal fairy princess. Oh, please, Nanny Plum. Please, Nanny Plum, let Holly come. Oh, OK. Hooray! <laughs> And I'll come along too, just to make sure you don't get into any mischief. OK, but hurry, we can't be late for elf school. <laughs> We're going to elf school. We're going to elf school. <laughs> We're going to elf school. 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 Come on, elf school is at the top of the tree. Ooh. Good morning, boys and girls. Good, Good morning, wise old elf. Ahem. <coughs> ah, Nanny Plum. Hello, Mr. Old Elf. Hello. Princess Holly wants to see what elves get up to in your little school. Hmm. Very well. Holly may join the class. Oh, goody. <laughs> but no magic or flying, please. OK. Holly, sit next to me. <laughs> <clears throat> no flying. You will kindly walk. Flying is not allowed at elf school. Only because elves can't fly. <clears throat> That's right, Mistress Palum. Elves cannot fly. But we do have very good hearing. <laughs> <laughs> and elves are very good at making toys. So, today, we are going to make toys. Hooray! We will carry on from where we left off last time. I'm making a toy car. I'm making a toy duck. A toy helicopter. A toy boat. I'm making a toy frog. A toy rabbit. I'm making a robot. Ooh. I see that Miss Holly does not have a toy. That's OK. I'll magic one. Zing, sang, zingy, zoi. Magic me a little toy. <gasps> Miss Holly, magic is not allowed at elf school. 
Only because elves can't do magic. <laughs> elves could do magic if they wanted to, but elves don't do magic. And we're elves! <laughs> Miss Holly, uh, you can work on this toy owl for today. Thank you, wise old elf. And I will take this wand for now so that you learn how to work the proper elf way without magic. Oh. Don't worry. You can have it back at the end of the class. Boys and girls, take out your hammers and remember to tap gently. Oh, no! I didn't mean to do that. Don't worry, Holly. I'll fix it. I've still got my magic wand. But, Nanny, magic isn't allowed at elf school. Oh, it'll be all right. No one will notice. Nick knack now, mend this owl. What was that loud bang? Uh, I think there's a bit of a storm brewing outside. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Well, as long as there's no magic going on... I assure you, Mr Old Elf, Princess Holly is not using magic. Naughty Nanny Plum. Oh, shush. Now it's time to paint our toys. Remember, be very careful. <laughs> a little paint goes a long, long way. <laughs> Doing things without magic is very hard. Maybe you need just a teeny tiny bit of magic. Oh, are you sure? Trust me. <clears throat> Zigzag Zoe, paint this toy. Miss Holly, are you doing magic? <coughs> No, wise old elf, not me. Uh, uh, I think it's just the storm outside. It must be really close now. <laughs> hmm. There's something funny going on around here. Wise old elf, what do we do next? A good question, Holly. Next, we wind the toys up. <laughs> doesn't work. Don't worry. I'll just give it a little help. <laughs> <coughs> Nanny Plum, have you been doing magic? Just a teeny tiny little bit to help things along. You are a very naughty fairy. Sorry, wise old elf. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say no more about it. Now, Holly, let's see what your owl can do. Oh, uh, it doesn't work at all. Hmm, maybe too much magic went into its making. I can fix it. I'm very good at mending things. <laughs> Should do it. Hooray! Thank you, Ben. I did try to do it the elf way. Yes, Holly. I know you did. But 
But it's not easy to make toys without using magic. It's easy for us because... We're elves! <laughs> <laughs> now, Holly, here's your wand back. Thank you. And remember, no magic until you have left the classroom. Yes, wise old elf. And that goes for you too, Nanny Palum. Yes, wise old elf. <laughs> Somewhere hidden amongst thorny brambles is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. And I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. King Thistle's new clothes. The pink dress or the blue dress? Mummy, I can't decide. The pink one looks nice on you, Holly. But what about me? Green or yellow or turquoise? Ben, what do you think? Um, maybe the pink one for you and the greeny blue one for your mum. Green, blue, yellow, purple? What's all this fuss about? King and Queen Marigold are coming to visit today, remember? Oh, yes. They are very fashionable, and I don't want them to think we look scruffy. Who looks scruffy? You look scruffy. Do I? Yes, Daddy. Hmm. What do you think, Ben? Man to man. Do I look scruffy? Uh, maybe you could be a tiny bit smarter. That is why I have ordered the elf tailor to make you some new clothes. Hmm. And you must have a bath. OK. The Elf Tailor. That's just the wise old elf. I'll have you know I'm not just the wise old elf. I'm also a qualified tailor. Oh, I see. Carry on, then. I'm off to have a bath. But hurry up. Our guests will be here soon. Uh, King Thistle's new clothes, Your Majesty. Ooh, lovely. But is this fashionable? This is a classic cut made from the finest woolen fabrics, Your Majesty. Oh, very nice. Uh, oh, please, don't prod it, Nanny Plum. It's a very delicate fabric, which means you must not clean it with magic. Yes, yes. Thank you, Taylor. Bye. Goodbye. Can you see that speck of dirt there, Holly? I can't see anything, Mummy. Nanny Plum, can you see that speck of dirt? Where? There? No. There. <gasps> oh. Oh, dear. Mummy! You've made Daddy's new clothes dirty. So I have. And King and Queen Marigold will be here soon. Nanny, have you got time to clean it? Leave it with me, Your Majesty. Nanny Plum, can Ben and I help you? Of course. Hmm, that's a fair old stain. How are we going to clean it? Um... The elf tailor said we shouldn't use magic. That's all right. We'll just throw it in the washing machine. But the elf tailor said it was very delicate. What does an elf know about washing clothes? He makes them. He might make clothes, but he hasn't washed as many as I have. We'll need lots of soap powder. Are you sure this is a good idea? Of course it's a good idea. Nothing clothes like better than a good, hot, soapy wash. You know, as we're doing a wash, we should clean the king's old clothes as well. His scruffy clothes? Yes. OK. 
la 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 Fantastic. In they go. There. Now we let the washing machine do all the work. It's all very clever and scientific. What's it doing? That's the first wash cycle. Now what's it doing? It's rinsing all the soap out. It's very clever. <laughs> Yes. Now let's see if all that soap got that stain out. Oh, Daddy's crown is a bit bent. And his shoes are all soggy. Oh, dear. Were the king's clothes always this small? <gasps> They've shrunk. Nanny Plum, are the king's clothes clean? That's Mummy. Uh, nearly ready, Your Majesty. Nanny, what are we going to do? Maybe, when the clothes are dry, they'll go back to their normal size. Yes, Ben. I'll just do a simple spell to dry them. But the tailor said you shouldn't use magic. Oh, I'll only use a teeny, tiny, gentle little spell. Ahem. Abracadabra, make clothes dry. Thunder and lightning, flame and fire! <coughs> Nanny Plum, quick, give me the king's new clothes. Our guests will be here any minute. Where are the clothes, Nanny Plum? <laughs> and what's that smell? We washed Daddy's clothes, but they shrunk. And then Nanny burnt them with magic. My goodness. Daddy will have to wear his old clothes then, I suppose. But we cleaned Daddy's old clothes too. What? You mean he has no clothes to wear? Uh, yes. Hello. Where are my clothes? Nearly ready, darling. I'm all clean now. Nanny will bring you your clothes in a moment. And I smell lovely. Nanny, call the elf tailor. Ah, uh, too late. That's King and Queen Marigold. Well, what are we going to do now? Uh, um... Hmm. We can make magic clothes. Nanny, can you do that? If you insist, Queen Thistle, but magic clothes can be a bit tricky. Hello? Anyone there? They're here! Oh, just make the magic clothes, Nanny. I'll go and see you to our guests. As you wish, Your Majesty. First, we need something to turn into shoes. Lemons? No, they need to be shoe-shaped. Oh! Carrots! Now we need something round and juicy for the jacket. A lemon? No, a tomato. Hmm, what can we use for the crown? Oh, Holly, you remember King and Queen Marigold? Hello, Hello Princess, Princess Holly. Holly. Hello, and this is my best friend. Ben Elf. Hello, Ben. I must say, your clothes are quite, um, charming. Yes. Nice and, uh, sensible. Oh, is it the country look? Uh... I think the way one dresses is very important. My husband won't be a moment. He's just changing into his new clothes. New clothes? That sounds interesting. Uh, well... It is an experiment. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, that's fantastic. Outstanding. Oh. Really? Well, the jacket feels a bit soggy, actually. It looks wonderful. So fresh and exciting. Oh. We were just saying how important it is to think carefully about what you wear. Oh, I don't think I think at all.
Yes, I was worried that might happen. Tricky things, magic clothes. <laughs> Silly Daddy, you've got a lemon on your head. This is nothing to do with me. My wife chose it. That is amazing. Awesome. I've never seen anything like it. Absolute genius. Self-transforming clothes? I would I never have thought of that. And you say that you don't think about what to wear. <laughs> you know more by fashion than we ever could. Where do you get your inspiration from? Ah, well, uh... Now, tell me, have you ever considered teaching fashion? <laughs> ah, Danny Plum, could you make us something for dinner, please? Of course, Your Majesty. I can make you anything you like, as long as you don't want carrots, tomatoes, or lemons. <laughs> Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. And I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. Daisy and Poppy. Having porridge for breakfast. Hooray! <laughs> porridge! Porridge! <laughs> but the porridge pot is empty. Yes, Holly. Daisy and Poppy will be practicing their magic this morning. Nanny Plum has taught them a simple porridge spell. <laughs> <laughs> wandy, wandy! I've got a bad feeling about this. Just to be clear, Nanny Plum, nothing's going to go wrong, is it? No, Your Majesty. I don't want another magic jelly flood. That was jelly. Porridge is a very different beast. And Daisy and Poppy have been practising so hard. <laughs> Little porridge pot, fill, fill, fill. Well done, Daisy and Poppy. Hee <laughs> hee. The twins should make breakfast more often. Hmm. It's quite tasty. More, more, more. in horrible gooey porridge, thanks to my silly little sisters. <laughs> now, now, Holly, remember, Daisy and Poppy are only babies. And we'll have this porridge cleared up in a flash. <laughs> I'd forgotten the twins knew how to say more. More! More! Oh, when I was a baby, the first word I said was bang! That's not a good word for a magical baby to know. Bang! 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 Give Mummy your wand. <coughs> I'll be off then. My friends are coming round to play. Ah, yes, Holly. Mummy and I were thinking it would be fun if you and your friends played with Daisy and Poppy today. But, Daddy! It would be a chance for the twins to learn your games. But, Mummy! Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Coming out to play, Holly. Sorry, Fleur. I can't come out to play. Why not? Uh, Daisy and Poppy are with me, so we have to play in the courtyard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're so sweet and ickle. They're not sweet. Wandy, Wandy! Do you want to hold my wand? It's glittery, isn't it? No, Fleur! <laughs> Kitty cat! <gasps> meow! 
<laughs> ah, I see your friends have brought a little kitten along. Meow. Uh, that's Fleur. She gave Daisy her wand. I see. Run away, kitten. Come back, Fleur. And which poor friend was turned into this insect? No, Mummy. That's Gaston the ladybird. He's meant to be like that. <coughs> ah, yes, of course. Hello, Gaston. <coughs> now, children, the twins are only little, so please play gently. Yes, yes Queen, Queen Thistle. Thistle. And the twins must stay in the courtyard. Yes, Mummy. Have fun. <laughs> wow, your little sisters are something else. I know, they're a menace. So keep hold of your wand, Fleur. But they're so sweet in Echo. I'm sure they didn't mean to turn me into a kitten. Meow, meow. <laughs> so, what game shall we play? How about hide and seek? Hidey, hidey. hidey. The only problem is the twins can't count yet. I'll help them count. I'm very good at counting. OK. Now close your little eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, let's hide! <laughs> <laughs> Fly so high. Tippy tappy! <laughs> wow! Fleur's turned into a kitten again! Run away, kitten! Come back, Fleur! So, where are the twins? Um, they kind of flew away. They've escaped! Uh,. And they've sort of got my wand. Goodness knows what damage they might do. Don't worry, we'll find them. Elves are good at that sort of thing. And, and we're, we're elves! <laughs> so, how are you going to find them? Easy. Gaston can sniff them out. <laughs> Gaston, find Daisy and Puppy. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, Daisy and Poppy, you're a long way from home. We better ring your mummy and daddy. Bunny rabbit! Now, now, Daisy, that wasn't very nice. Bunny rabbit! What's going on? Bunny rabbit! It's coming from over there. I think we found my little sisters. <laughs> pop, 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 pop. <laughs> Whoa! Look at all those rabbits. That one's wearing my dad's hat. Poppy, Daisy, what have you done? Rabbity, rabbity. They've turned all the elves into rabbits. Daisy, that wasn't funny or clever. Give me the wand. Kitty Catty! Meow! Daisy and Poppy, I'm sure you didn't mean to... Meow! <laughs> Birdy wordy, birdy wordy. Do you think that's it? Yes. Luckily, birds can't hold wands. <coughs> oh, Barnaby and Ben, have you seen the girls? The kittens are Holly and Fleur. And the birds are the twins. What? Uh, Daisy and Poppy have been doing a bit of magicking. 
I see. And who are all the rabbits? They're the elves. Right. We've got a lot of tidying up to do. Runaway kittens, come back fairies. Hop away bunnies, come back elves. Fly away birdies, come back twins. Holly, you were supposed to be looking after your little sisters. But Nanny, the twins are impossible. They are a bit of a handful. Well, I suppose no harm was done. No harm done? They turned us all into rabbits. I know. I'm most impressed. <laughs> but, but... The little darlings are getting really good at magic. Foggy, foggy. I think I'll take those ones. We won't be needing any more magic today. But Nanny Plum, we can't just leave her as a frog. Can't we? No, I suppose not. All right, Holly. Magic her back again. Hop away, frog. Come back, Nanny. Good night, my little ones. Sleep well. Ah, oh, they're fast asleep already. Well, they have had a very busy day, Your Majesty. I expect playing with you big children really tired them out, Holly. Uh, yes, Mummy. Something like that. I wonder what sweet little dreams they're having. Tiger, tiger, alligator. Crocodile. Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. And I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. And Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts in the Little Forest. The Lost Egg. Egg. Hmm. Gaston, do you know what kind of egg it is? <coughs> I think that means no. Oh. I know. 
We can ask Nanny Plum. Good idea. Da da doo dum da dee da. Da da dum dum da dee da. Da 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 dum da dee da dee. Nanny Plum, quick! Oh goodness me! What is it? We found a magic egg. Or a dragon's egg. Come on, we'll show you. Most interesting. An egg. Mm. Here's the magic egg, Nanny. That's not a magic egg. Is it a dragon's egg? No, it's some sort of bird's egg. Hello. What sort of bird's egg are you? A blackbird. It's a talking egg. No, it's me, the wise old elf. Oh, hello. Good day, Mistress Plum. As I was saying, it is a blackbird's egg and there's a baby chick inside. How do you know? You can hear it tapping. Listen. Ooh, exciting. Nanny, can we look after it? You must never collect the eggs of wild birds. The place for an egg is with the mummy bird. Wise words, Mistress Plum. But the mummy bird's not here. Then we must find her. Oh, oh, oh. I know. Gaston can follow the egg's trail and find the mummy. <laughs> Clever Gaston. <laughs> Gaston's good at smelling things. Oh! oh! I don't think the ladybird can follow the trail through water. Now we can't find the egg's mummy. So what can we do, Nanny? If the mummy were here, she would build a nest and sit on the egg to keep it warm. <laughs> Please, can I sit on it? Your bottom is too small. We need a bigger bottom. Hello, everybody. Hello, King Thistle. Daddy, can you help us? Help you with what? Your Majesty, if you could sit on this egg until we build a nest, that would be most kind. Very well. Daddy looks a bit silly. <laughs> I don't look silly, do I? No, Daddy. <laughs> I say, this is jolly uncomfortable. It won't be long, will you? We'll be as quick as we can. We just need to build a nest. I know. Elves can pick up sticks. Fairies can pick up soft things. OK. We'll collect these sticks. We'll collect thistledown. Ooh, thistledown is very soft. The magic words. Sticks, moss, and thistle down. Make me a nest all cosy and round. Lovely. Can I get off now? Of course, Your Majesty. Look, there's a crack. Oh, Daddy, you've broken the egg. No. The egg is cracking on its own. Is hatching. Ooh. Oh, it's a little chick. Aww. Good. Now the mummy will hear the chick call and come to collect it, and I can get back to my work. Look, the chick is following Nanny Plum. Usually, the first thing a chick sees is its mummy. And this chick saw Nanny first. So it thinks Nanny is its mummy. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a mummy bird. The chick is hungry. Mummy bird must give it food. I haven't got any food. What do birds eat? Worms and insects. Uh, Gaston is an insect. Gaston? Maybe you should stand back a bit. 
We need to find some worms. How? With worm charming, like this. The worms think it is raining and come up to breathe. Ooh. <laughs> Look, a worm! It got away! Oh, come on, everyone. Try again. <laughs> There's another one. Oh. I give up. They're too hard to catch. The baby bird is very hungry. We really need to find its mummy. Usually the mummy bird comes when her baby calls. But it's not chirping loud enough. Nanny, do a spell to make the chick chirp louder. Of course. Zigzag, zig, make it big. Oh, no, Nanny. I think you've got the spell wrong. The chick is getting bigger. I haven't got the spell wrong. I made it bigger to make it louder. Ooh. Don't worry. The spell won't last long. How long, Nanny Plum? Uh, it could last a minute. Or a week. Or... <laughs> the spell is wearing off. And the mummy bird is here. What's it saying? The chick says thank you very much and bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <coughs> Nanny, I'm hungry. Me too. <coughs> and me. How about some juicy worms? <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> And Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. King Thistle is not well. Ooh. <coughs> Daddy, you've blown our cards over. I can't help it, Holly. I'm very ill. You've just got a cold, that's all. Uh, no. It's not just a cold. It feels worse than that. Daddy's a bit grumpy. Daddy's always grumpy when he's ill. Then why don't you use a little fairy magic to make me better? Darling, you know fairy magic can cure everything, except the common cold. It's not a common cold. It's something serious, and it needs sorting. All right. I'll try a little magic. Abracadabra! Oh, <laughs> now I'm sneezing and I've got a stuffed up nose. Sorry, but I told you magic wouldn't work. Perhaps you should see the elf doctor. Is that the elf doctor? Yeah, the elf doctor. Yes, the king is ill. Yeah, what are the king's sneezing and a stuffed up nose. I know, but he thinks it's serious. Thank you. Goodbye. You rest in bed, darling, and wait for the doctor. Hmm. The doctor is here. That's just the wise old elf. I'm not just the wise old elf. I'm also a qualified doctor. Oh, I see. Well, doctor, I am not well. 
I keep sneezing, my nose is blocked up, and my head aches. I see. Could you open your mouth and stick your tongue out? Ah. Uh... Now look up, look down, and wiggle your feet. Hmm. Now flap your arms like a bird and whistle. Interesting. At last, a thorough medical examination by a qualified doctor. What you have is a case of acute viral nasopharyngitis. Aha! You see? It is something bad. Otherwise known as the common cold. Is that all? No. You're grumpy as well. <laughs> well, Doctor. Can you make me better? Uh, let me see what I've got. Ah, this should do the trick. Does it taste bad? Let's just say it doesn't taste good. I'm not having it. Daddy, we all have to have medicine when we're ill. Oh. Hmm, <coughs> 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 that's interesting. <coughs> I wasn't expecting that. Well, it does say cough mixture. <coughs> I know a recipe that can cure all kinds of colds, whether they be common or not. Expanding hands. Itchy ears. Hairy teeth. Smelly noses. Baldness. Ah, here it is. The common cold. I just need to find the right ingredients. Can we help you, Nanny Plum? Of course. <laughs> uh, Nanny Plum, what's in this medicine of yours? Oh, just blackberry juice, lemon and sugar, and a few other things. Nanny, what other things do we need? Let's see. A dewdrop from a spider's web. Ooh. The slime from a slug. <laughs> And un dro de grenouille. What's, What's that? that? Frog burp. Ugh. You'll never get Daddy to drink that. <laughs> oh, no. It would be most unfortunate if anyone were to drink this. This is a potion for rubbing on his feet. Ooh. Right. First, we need a dewdrop on a spider's web. Look, a dewdrop. Stop, Holly. It's not a good idea to fly around Madam Spider. Why, Nanny? The flutter of our fairy wings is like a fly. And she likes to eat flies. Eat flies? Ugh. Shh. Yes. That's just what spiders do. You like to eat ice cream. Spiders like to eat flies. They have very smelly breath. Uh, excuse me, Madam Spider. Could we possibly collect a dewdrop from your lovely web here? It is to make some medicine for the king. <laughs> Madam Spider says yes. I'll get the dewdrop, Nanny. Elves are very good at climbing, and I'm an elf. <laughs> Hooray! Very good. Now we need the slime from a slug. Look, a slug! Holly, perhaps you could do the asking this time. You might have to shout a little, though, because slugs cannot hear very well. Why is that, Nanny? Because they have no ears. Can't we just take some slime from the ground? You can't go around collecting someone else's slime without asking them first. It's not polite. Hello, Mr. Slug. Louder. Hello. Uh, my daddy, the king, isn't well. We need some of your slime to make his medicine. Can we collect some in this jar, please? <laughs> 
I think that means yes. <laughs> Thank you ever so much. Well done, Holly. Let's check our list. A dew drop. Here, Nanny Plum. Slug slime. Here, Nanny Plum. Last of all, we need a frog burp. Hmm, this could be tricky. There's a frog, Nanny. Oh, good morning, Mr. Frog. Would you be so good as to burp into this jar, please? Try and relax. That's it. Oh, we haven't got all day. To make babies burp, you rub their backs. OK, I'll rub the frog's back. I can hear something. Hooray! Back to the kitchen. Now, let's mix all the ingredients. Blackberry, sugar, lemon, dewdrop, slug slime, and finally, frog burp. And now, the magic words. Sugar and spice, glug, 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 burp of a frog, slime of a slug. It's going to taste horrible. No, Ben. Remember, it's a potion to rub on the feet, not to drink. Nobody would drink this. Oh, my! That is bad! <gasps> uh, uh, that did taste disgusting! Daddy! You shouldn't have drunk it. <gasps> you should have rubbed it on your feet. What? I wonder what will happen now. Let's see what the book says. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, dear. What is it? Silly me. It's not a recipe for cold medicine after all. It's a cure for baldness. <gasps> <gasps> but I must say, Your Majesty... Long hair really does sue you. <laughs> Nanny Plum, I think my cold has gone. Hooray! Achoo! <coughs> oh, I seem to have caught the king's cold. Oh, poor Nanny Plum. Now I'm going to take personal charge of getting you better. <laughs> can, can we, we help, help too? Of course you can. The more the merrier. <laughs> Uh, uh, please, that's not necessary, Your Majesty. Oh, but it is. Achoo! Somewhere hidden amongst thorny brambles is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <coughs> And Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. The Frog Prince. Hello, Mrs. Elf. Hello, Princess Holly. Can Ben come out to play? Sounds like he's on his way down already. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play princes and princesses. OK. I can be the princess because I am a princess. And I can be the prince. Yes. I'll turn you into a prince by magic. Can't we just pretend I'm a prince? No. Magic is much better. Abracazobadu. Oh! I seem to have turned Ben into a frog. Ha! <laughs> I always get frogs and princes mixed up. Ben, if you can hear me, croak. Good. I'm going to get help. Wait here. 
Nanny Plum, come quick. I've turned Ben into a frog. Oh, good. You've been practicing your magic. No, no. It was an accident. Ben is not happy being a frog. Frogs are never happy. Can you help me turn Ben into himself again? All right. Now calm down. I'll fetch my wand while you wait with Ben. OK. Make sure he doesn't hop off. Frogs do that. <laughs> What's wrong? I've turned Ben into a frog and he's hopped off somewhere. Hmm. He'll be at the pond. That's where frogs live. Of course. Come on, let's go and find him. <laughs> Holly, look. Yes, that must be Ben. Hello, Ben. I hear you've been naughty and got yourself turned into a frog. You really should have waited like I told you. Yes, poor Holly was really worried. Oh, maybe this frog isn't Ben. Maybe that one looks a bit like Ben. But so does that one. <gasps> they all look the same. We'll never find Ben. Look, one of them is wearing a hat. Does Ben wear a hat? Hmm, I think so. Holly, don't you know? He's your best friend. Yes, Ben wears a hat. Hi, Ben. If it's really you, do a croak. At last. You've no idea what a time we've had trying to find you. Now, Ben, don't worry. Nanny Plum will be here soon, and she knows the spell to turn you back again. We don't need Nanny Plum. I know lots of spells. Uh, Violet, I think we should just wait for Nanny. No, no, no. Turning frogs back into elves is easy peasy. Watch this. Zabbity Z, turn yourself into whatever you be. You see, I told you I could do it. Well done, Violet. Ah, oh, that was horrible. I was a frog and I was eating flies. Oh, I don't think my spell is quite finished. <laughs> oh, Ben's turned into a bird. That wasn't meant to happen. <laughs> now we will never, ever find him. Ah. Oh. Violet. Hello, Barnaby. Have you seen Ben? I want to play football with him. Uh, I don't think you can play football with a bird. Bird? Yes, Violet turned Ben into a bird. You changed him into a frog first. Well, anyway, now he's flown away and we will never find him. It's very annoying. Hmm. Birds live in trees, so we need to look up in the trees. Strange, one of those birds is wearing a hat. That's Ben. But that nest is very high, and we're not allowed to fly high. Then it's a lucky thing I'm around. Elves are very good at climbing, and I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> Ben, is that you? Easy now. Don't fly away. Hooray! Now, we just have to get Ben turned back into Ben again. I've got a very good idea. If we both do a spell together... Yes. That would be fun. Abracadabra. Oh, uh, that was the 
disgusting. I was a little bird and I was eating worms. Oh, I don't think our spell is quite finished. Ben's turned into a rabbit. Ah. Oh. Now he'll hop off somewhere and we'll have to find him all over again. <sighs> We're not having a good day. What about poor Ben? Goodness me, Holly. I've been looking everywhere for you. Sorry, Nanny. But Ben kept wandering off and we had to keep finding him. I see. So where's this frog that needs to be turned back into Ben? Uh. Here. But that's a rabbit. Ben was a frog, then a bird, and now he's turned himself into a rabbit. We've tried everything. Well, it just shows that you both need a lot more spell practice. Yes, yes Nanny, Nanny Plum. Plum. Fairies of your age really should be able to get a simple spell right. Yes, Nanny, Nanny Plum. Plum. Watch and learn. When you turned Ben into a frog, Abracazobadee. You should not have turned him into a bird. Zabadizee. And certainly not into a rabbit. Abracazabadee. No, at the start, you should have made him Ben again. Abracazobadee Zabadizee. Hooray! For you. I'm glad that's over. You see, girls? It's easy. Anyone can do it. OK. Can I have another go? No. If anyone can do it, I want to go. Oh, all right. Holly, give Ben your wand. But, but, elves don't do magic. I'd like to give magic a go, just this once. That's the spirit, Ben. Uh, into frogs, abracazobody. Phew. For a moment, I thought Ben was going to turn us into frogs. Abracazobody! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's no good. Elves don't do magic. Hmm. Maybe you just need a teeny tiny bit of magical help. Tricky trick trick. This young elf do magic. There. Have another go, Ben. Into frogs. Abracazobody. Hey, it worked. <coughs> Into birds. Zabadee Z. And into rabbits. Abracazobody. <coughs> there, all finished. Very good, Ben. But haven't you forgotten something? Uh, what? You need to turn them back into girls again. <coughs> Do I? Oh, OK then. Well done, Ben. Did you two follow that? Uh, yes, Nanny. I think so. Good. Anyone else want to try? Yes, please. Can I have a go? No. no. How about a game of football? Yes. yes, football. And the rules say no magic. Okay. Yes. I think we've had quite enough magic for one day. <laughs>